Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking GE reverse osmosis systems. In today's video, the step-by-step -step process on how to properly and safely sanitize the system with the three cartridge kit. Let's take a look. We are now going to continue with the sanitation process of our RO system. And what we'll do next is install the sanitation pre-filter and RO. And if you forget which one's which, because the new sanitation filters don't really have titles on them, you'll notice the color caps. You've got the pre-filter, RO filter, and the post-filter. We're going to install the dark one and then the light blue one, and we'll get to the pre-filter here shortly. Post-filter going in first. And these should screw in very friendly and snap into place. Now the RO, which again is the lighter of the blue caps. Now to the pre-filter. Next part of the instructions call for the syringe and we need to fill this to one ounce and that is equivalent to 30 milliliters of household bleach. And what we will do is carefully pour it into the hole of the pre-filter. And we're gonna set that aside. I've got the pre-filter resting in the sink and I'm going to carefully insert all this bleach inside this pre-filter. And all I did was put a paper towel down on the bottom of the sink so the filter itself would not slide. And what we'll do is carefully shift this into the filter case without spilling any of that bleach out. And once that is secured, water will begin to flow. Study the next couple items of the instructions because water will flow and once we smell bleach, we are going to turn off the faucet. Again, very carefully, I'll even pick up the back end of the filter case. And once this snaps into place, you'll hear the water flow. Coming up top, what we're doing is patiently waiting until we smell bleach. And I smell bleach, I will turn that off. And now the storage tank is going to fill up, takes about one to two minutes, depending on your system. And we're going to let the system stand for 20 minutes. And as that tank fills up, you will hear the water flow. And I recommend starting your 20 minute timer once the water flow sound comes to a stop. During the 20 minute waiting time, I have opened up the new filters and membrane, and it comes with a battery, as you can see right there. I'm going to replace the battery in the faucet. I won't bore you with that. In this video, it's a pretty simple process. However, in the event that you want guidance on how to replace that battery, I will post that link down below in the comments section as well as the description section. After 20 minutes, go ahead and open up the faucet and leave that running until you can no longer smell bleach. And the directions call for at least five minutes. All right, I let it run for eight minutes and I don't smell any bleach. Back down below, we are going to remove the pre-filter. Back up top, what we'll do now is just patiently wait for the water to stop coming out of the faucet. Water has stopped and we only had to patiently wait for two minutes. Back down below, we will remove the RO filter next, the center one, and the post filter. Water does leak out, so just be aware of that. You may want to tilt the case up. Now that the system is empty, it's a really good time to repressurize your tank or verify it is at the proper PSI, and in most cases 5 to 7 PSI. But we definitely recommend referencing your owner's manual. And if you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to repressurize a tank, definitely check out the links down below in the comments section as well as the description section. What I did next was remove that wet towel. I'm on my third towel now, and I grabbed some paper towel and I cleaned and dried all water inside that case. And what I'll do now is insert the filters. Post filter first. RO filter second, the lighter blue cap, and the pre-filter. Water will begin to flow and we'll go up top and turn the water off once it stops spurting and running efficiently. You can hear the water flow. To the front side and these filters should all be in the same placement as shown here. Coming back up top and I can hear the crackling with the air gap on the side. That is a good sign. We'll patiently wait for the water to start trickling out and running efficiently. At that point, we'll turn the faucet to the closed position. Water is now starting to trickle out. I will go ahead and close the faucet 
And from here, what we have to do since we install brand new filters and membrane is we have to purge the system. And in the event that you have any interest on how we purge the system, definitely check out the link scrolling above. You may find it very helpful. And the last couple instructions just state, put your new filters in, or in our case, we have new RO membrane and filters, and we have to follow the purging instructions. That is it, DIYers. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. And as that system pressurizes, just look for any leaks.